What do I think of Nihal's performance? Um, pretty good. I had a feeling that it was going to be an ugly final match, mainly because I've played Wesley a lot over the years. And I felt that Wesley was one of those players who's very, very good at handling... I think it's smooth bread. Wesley is one of those players who's really, really good at handling... Um, at handling... Uh, what was I going to say? He's really good at handling just slightly dubious openings when people play them. I mean, I, I remember I played a speed chess match against him in like 2016 or 17. Um, and I somehow won, but like every game in like the five and three minute portion, I was in very, very, very bad shape. So I had a feeling it was going to be pretty ugly. Okay, so... so okay g4 let me minimize chat obviously um g4 okay now how do we have fun is the question i can play knight h6 i guess but d5 is solid let's play d is he just gonna go bishop g2 and c4 like a true grobber he might i guess he goes h3 i mean this problem is now it's hard to it's hard to be serious that's the problem i'm gonna let's go c5 if it takes i'll just play e6 and knight c6 i guess i don't know if this makes sense or not let's skip the song next song here we go a good song for today again very very weird position I have no idea what the heck is going on I mean I can just take and play like I mean I guess I'll play this like a new age hippie I'm just gonna take and go night night f6 this is, this is what like alpha zero loves like the computers love to just like play a g6 move create a weakness and then just not put the bishop on the diagonal so let's play this like a proper uh proper computer um this might just be bad though so I'll go here I mean again this looks I don't know what's going on. I mean, this looks bad for me, but I also I also have no clue what the heck is going on. I mean, I can just take the knight, I guess. I can also play like queen b6. I really don't want to um, take with a knight, but I think I kind of have. I could also play h5, maybe. I mean, that looks so ridiculous. I guess I'll just play it proper here really not what I wanted to do but I guess I kind of have to and now we just develop like normal normal humans actually I do have h5 maybe because knight g5 I just take take and trade and knight c6 and probably it's about equal I mean I guess knight g5 is probably the safe move for white although I don't know if safe is even the word I use here because I think I'm, I'm actually like probably close to equal Maybe even a little better, potentially. We'll see what he does here. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to take it. I want to go here, and I want to keep the idea alive. That's right. B2? Okay, that logical move, of course. I can play Bishop B4 here. I can always trade. I mean, everything is very equal. That's the only problem. Or maybe... Maybe Bishop D4 to line up the pawn, create the classic wooden shield as well. Kind of like Bishop D4, because I, I keep an eye on everything here. I can still take as well. Okay, Rook C1, I expected that. The question is, he's has no actual direct ideas. So I guess I don't like King D7, but I think it's correct. Just to get my king out of the center here. I think it's very important that I get my king out of the center of the board, or, or center of the board, and I play like Rook E8 or something. If I take, take, trade, and rook h8. Go here, target the bishop. I mean, I have knight e5 too. Like, this looks kind of scary for white. I also have rook h2 maybe. It goes bishop g2. I can play knight e5. I can play rook h2. I can also go rook h4 wait I feel like I'm better here but I have to be extremely precise and prove it I'm not convinced that I can play bishop g4 bishop d5 rook h2 f6 I think I'm gonna go for it though so I have rook f8 and there's I assume there's something bad happening okay, let's go f6 because now I'm threatening to ice skater him with rook h1. I think he just blundered. I think I'm going to win the game here. Maybe. Maybe. He has moves, actually. Ah, he's got a move that I missed. Or no, he doesn't. Because I can just drop back. He does. Yeah. Wait, but if I... Whoa, wait a second. Wait, but if I take and I... Ah, I just blunder the shoot. 
Yeah, this was just a mistake by me. And I have no good in-between move. And missed rook c4 completely. I take and go like d6 or something? Nah, that's just... Back. That was just a blunder by me. Of course, he, he has to take. and I, I mean, I'm going to try to hang on, but probably I'm losing here. Good check. Two. I'm gonna try to swing the rook in this way. I mean, I still have chances, maybe. Actually, I feel like he's misplaying this quite significantly. Wait, I think I'm actually close to saving this now. Wait. Yeah, yeah I'm very close to suddenly saving this game when I shouldn't be. Yeah, he, he completely bungled this. Yeah, he completely bungled this. Now it just should be a draw. A very poor technique from Jeffrey in this game. Because he should have won this game after c4. Yeah, he's probably going to take the draw because he can't do anything here. He should have won this game. He completely flubbed it. Completely flubbed it. I mean, this, the, yeah, like, this, this was actually very interesting. Like, what, what's going on here? This is correct. Oh, I'm supposed to play rook h2 and then bishop g4. Hmm. Yeah, and then I blunder with f6, and now I'm just, yeah, rook c4 is a great move. Oh, I still had rook h2, I guess, here, but, ah, whatever. It's what it is. Um... It's really odd how similar y'all's commentary was that game. Really? Thank you, Smitty, for the 19th. Thank you, Vicky G, for the Endura Tetchier. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Bamboo. Oh, is Jeffrey streaming? Oh, Jeff is Jeffrey actually streaming it? Maybe he is. I don't know. Um, but yeah, like I, I, it's like I had that feeling there was something. I, I, I had that feeling there was something there, but then I just flubbed this. I'm very lucky that I still keep the ice skater after Rook G4 because this, this is a very funny ice skater here. The king has no squares. King is stuck. Block and a checkmate. So... Yeah, why not try for winning by flagging? Well, first of all, you have 30 more seconds at that point. Secondly, with increment, there's no chance. Okay. Of course, I get Andraken here. Um, now, my assumption is Andraken can't take a draw, but maybe I'm wrong. Do I assume Andraken can't take a draw or not? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just play e5 and just play normal chess. I mean, if he wants to make a draw, so be it. But I assume he's gonna play. My assumption is he's got he's got to want to play. Yeah, he's gonna to have to play. He's gonna set Laudner for the 15. Oh, okay, it goes Queen E2. The knight E7 here. Many, many options. Bishop D6 also is a move. D6, D6. I guess I'll go here. Knight G5, you can just take and play like F6. I mean, this is this is the old line everyone plays of course this Benjamin would say you never play f6 but here it's doable because you just have queen e7 on dragon is worse than Artemiev no I mean they're both very very good players I mean I think I think Artemiev is a better player objectively I, I feel like he's far more dangerous he has much better results against myself and Magnus all right let me minimize chat um he has far better results against both of us but I don't I don't know um I can play 96 I can I can also just go queen d7 queen f7 I guess um yeah, now the thing is I can play knight e6 and get a very, very strange pawn structure here. I can also not play it. Um, I can also just take, I guess, and play a6 and castles. I mean, this is... I'm trying to remember the right line, so I, I don't want to spend all day, so I'm going to go knight e6. I mean, taking is fine, too. Um, I'm just trying to re recall which structure I want. I mean, very weird, because generally you want to capture towards, but if you have the cube, it's not always great, because if you have the cube, there's an open a file as well. Knight of five, I don't understand at all. Actually, I do understand it, but I, I don't really like it. So okay, I'm gonna, I guess I castle king side. I can play b5, a6 and create like a diamond, diamond hands formation as well, or a5, b5, b6. I mean, it's all very, very weird. I'm gonna go king h8, just because I assume he's planning to play g3 and f4 at some point. At least that's my assumption, but 
I don't know. I mean, maybe he goes B4. Maybe I play B5. I mean, this is all very, very dank. It's all about the pawn structure and the cubes and the diamonds and everything else. Yeah, he plays B4. I expected that. I can play A5 if I want to, I guess. B5 and A6 is also kind of dank. I think I'm just going to go A6 so I can bring the rook to the center. It's not even the only move, but I think it makes some sense. Because now I can always play B5, create the diamond. I can also go C5 at some point too, probably. It was knight c4 which i don't i don't really understand knight c4 because i can just play b5 at some point i mean it just seems like he's inviting me to play okay i mean is he really going no he's not going queen b6 i didn't think he was now i have knight d4 here i also have c5 i can also go b6 and c5 too i mean very very tough to play for both sides here i think i'm gonna play b6 and c5 though it looks right because he doesn't have a knight to jump to d5 anymore and i can also play a5 or c5 so it's like very weird structure very very weird it goes c3 now the question is do i play a5 or do i play like rook fd8 i know a5 looks correct to me just trade and rook a d8 although he doesn't get d4 which i should not have allowed but i think i should have played rook fd8 first and then c5 but Still very unclear though. He goes knight b3, doesn't play d4, which I'm actually very happy about. Because I think d4 could have been a real problem for me to deal with. So I'm gonna go knight c5. I mean knight c5 is not a move, because I just trade. And now I have a4. Uh he still wants knight c5. Maybe I play c5 here. C5, d4, a4, d5. Take six c4. I know this looks right to me I hope it's right it's, this is a very committal move by me it's either a great move or a horrible move all I can hope is that it's actually a great move but I'm not really sure well they're singing for a long time which definitely is a good sign for me Okay, if he's going to go knight c1, then I'm obviously very happy. Because now, if I go d6, I assume I go to d7 because I want to keep an eye on f4. Yeah, this this looks very bad. Because now I get the legendary double stack. I have c4, I have a4. I mean, this does not look good for white. Um, I assume I should play a4. Oh, maybe I should put the rook on d6 to have the legendary triple, though. Maybe the triple is worth more than the double. Because h4, logical. I can play c4 here. I can try to line up the legendary triple h4 problem is a question i also have knight f4 thinking a little bit too long here i can't go h5 hmm. i think i'm just gonna line up the legendary triple stack anyway why not it's got to stop queen h6 it's the main thing although h6 is a problem Yeah, I'm kind of misplaying this a little bit. Still okay, but... Maybe I go here, actually. Maybe I just go here off for the queen trade. I know h6 is either great or terrible. That is the one other thing. He's got a weak pawn on h6. So of course, I go queen e5. I mean, he can line up his own triple stack here, but... The main thing is... I think I'm in... Do I play rook d6 or do I go a3? a3 looks like a good move, but it's also scary. Um, no, I think I should just play b4. Oh, I had rook d3 too, maybe. Eh, maybe. Everything here is very on edge. Um, oh, where's a3? I'm going to go a3. I'm going to actually take on b2 here, I think. Or take on this is very sharp if i take with a rook or not it's too dangerous i'm gonna take with a queen and just draw the game it's, it's way too dangerous i think yeah it's just too dangerous to to not go to, to risk it here yeah i mean this is just gonna be a draw I think. Rook f7, I have rook e7. Yeah, so I just take and go here, and it's a draw. 
Unless I'm missing something. Yeah, I go here, take the pawn. I mean, go here and rook h5, I guess. Uh, I mean, this is obviously a draw, but. Maybe he'll maybe he'll flag. Maybe his internet connection will will go down. Of course, not likely. Yeah, it's going to be a draw in a second. <sighs> yeah, and of course this just draws on the spot. no way to break through I mean yeah it's just a draw yeah we almost blundered it. I, I was definitely better at one moment, I'm sure of it. I was definitely better somewhere around here. This is cur uh this is Oh, I'm just supposed to grab the pawn. Oh, why didn't I just grab the pawn? Hmm. Yeah, I just take because I if, if Queen H six, I just have Queen F seven. Same thing with Queen F three. I also have Queen F seven here. Ugh. That's unfortunate. I should have won that game. Thank you so much to Pat Boss for the Prime. Thank you, Dean Cogniz. Thank you, Roy G for the four head five. Thank you, Mohitra. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I should have won that game. I mean, if I had more time, I would have been able to work out G takes H5. But I, I just, uh, in the moment, it didn't feel right. Mm. Yeah. Thank you so much to Chief Daddy for the Prime. Thank you so much to Chief Daddy. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Chief Daddy. All right. Unlucky indeed. Okay, Borden's on seven out of seven. He's one point ahead of everybody else, so... I assume that means I'm going to play Bordnik in round eight. I'm guessing. I don't I don't know. I don't know for sure, though. We'll see. So I'm playing Bordnik. So, of course, I'm going to play E4. Let me minimize chat. Because, he, I mean, I don't know which one he's going to play. He, he, he's going to play Ali Ekin's defense? Or is he going to play the... Um, is he going to play the... Uh, yeah, he's going to play this one. There are many ways to play. I'm going to play one of my safer lines, I think. Although, this isn't really safe. Um, all right. He likes his D4. Um... I'm gonna play knight e2. Oh, did I just blunder d3? Jeez, what am I doing? Very careless. Okay, let's just go here. What the heck am I doing? Although I have e oh I had e6 there too, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. Plays knight c5. Um, I can play c3 here, maybe. I can also go b4. I mean, this is very weird. I have no idea what the heck is going on. I'm gonna play c3 and just b4. That's a free pawn, or is it? No, it's not. Okay. Very strange. I have no idea what the heck is going on here. Okay, I mean, I guess I'll take and I'll play h3. Yeah, this is so weird. I have no idea what the heck is going on. I'm probably in really bad shape objectively, but I don't think you'll be able to prove it. I have queen f3, queen g3, knight f3, knight d4, and I'm actually completely fine because I can activate the bishop this way.
I said I was going to play safe, but this is definitely not safe. I don't know why I did this. Knight a6, logical move. Um, let's go here. Take the pawn. Yeah, this is anything but safe. In fact, crazy that I played this. I have to go here. I have to get rid of this pawn. If I don't get rid of this pawn, like it's just it's going to be terrible. I can go king d1 and knight e2 or bishop e4. I mean, it's obviously not the dream. Also not maybe horrible though either. So if I take and play like... Take, he's going to check. I'm going to go like... I don't know if I go to e2 or d1. I really don't know. I think I'm going to go to d1 so I have knight e2 available. I mean, I can always make a draw, too, I guess, with 92 and we repeat. Which isn't really what I want to do, but my position is so bad that I might have to do that. Bishop c2. Bishop e4. I mean, I think I'm okay here. Kind of strange, because if I get this pawn on g3, his, whole, his bishop is terrible, and he probably just loses the game on the spot. Yeah, very, very strange position. He goes there, so of course I go here. Have to play bishop e4, only move. Thing is... Trades, okay, now I should be completely fine. I should actually have, like, no issues whatsoever here. Um, Although, I maybe I still have issues because this bishop is still annoying. But I can go h4, h5, so I guess I'm going to go here probably play rook hd1 and d4 at some okay so he castles definitely not the move that i was expecting to be fair play h4 h5 i guess d8 rook hd1 maybe so just play f5 so i take and play h5 i can also go rook h3 here i'm gonna go h5 idea h6 makes sense i'm still guarding everything in the center of the board i still have rook d1 D8. I guess I can play D3. It feels loose. Doesn't feel right, but I'm going to play it. I hope it's okay. It feels a little bit wrong, but... I mean, I always have H6 to open up. And this bishop is actually not ideal on F2 anymore. It plays Queen D5 to trade, which... is actually probably a pretty solid way of consolidating so that I can't just, like, win this. Don't really want to trade, but I think I kind of have to. Ugh. Okay, I, I, wait, I'm, I'm getting a little bit low on time. I don't want to blunder here. Rook H and B1 or something. Hmm. I've got to move, though. I don't have all day here. I'll just go here and trade. I don't even know why I played that. That was just a silly move by me. Yeah, because now I, I mean, now now I just that was just ridiculous by I me. Mean, why did I do that? Takes takes. For, I mean, it's just a draw. If I'm lucky, which I'm probably not lucky. He has rook d two, which I also just missed. Okay, the question is, do I have moves? Okay, wait. I'll go here. Act the rook. Well, maybe now my knight gets in somehow. Probably doesn't. Okay, I'll take. Yeah, I've completely bungled this. I mean, at least I have an active rook. That's the only upside. Takes. Rook F4 or something? A little bit low on time. Do I have Knight F8 or do you just blunder? Wait a second. 
Yeah, I have to take the draw. Wait, what? Wait, did he just blunder? Wait, what the heck was Rook B2? Wait, what the heck did he just... What the heck? <laughs> oh my gosh, what the heck? Oh man, thank you so much to Hey, it's cool for the Prime, Matty, Ice for the 3, and Seth Mobile. Poor Bordnick doing what he always does. Like I said, like if he could eliminate this one like uh hole in his game, he would he would always be competing. But he gets he, whenever he gets like good position, he gets too low on time and then he just panics and blunders for no reason. Yeah, thanks so much to bedside lotion. I mean that that was so unbelievably bad. But there were there were first of all a huge mistake was here. I think E5 was oh I, I guess E5 wasn't right. I thought E5 was strong to activate the rook. Maybe it wasn't. Thanks so much cipher unknown for the five gifted subs. Thank you to V Rashab. For the 12 months as well appreciate it yeah but one, once he didn't do that it was still good but it just yeah rook, rook takes g2 is back so it gave me counterplay rookie two ends it but now it's like yeah and then i get oh h6 is oh huh, h6 is maybe saving the game wow i go here i go here and then he puts this yeah an a5 a4 and what like b5 i guess yeah b5 is winning like this but instead he goes here and now yeah now just like that it's all gone yeah it's all gone thank you so much to matt laughing for the 4k or for the 24 the politis for the 11 and mba as well thank you so much to mba thank you don the second for the 15. he might have also missed that after rook f2 takes he doesn't have this um a5 moves so i have rookie six check if block i just trade the rooks here with rook g6 um and i'm just winning and um if he goes king g5 i have rook g6 check and then i just swap the towers and of course this is also just easily winning for white with the extra knight Thanks so much, Jims for the 19 and Godfrith for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So up to seven out of eight. Big win. Thank you, Scully W for the three months. Appreciate it. Thank you. One, yeah, here we go. Okay, so round number nine, I have black. I have great tie breaks after the win. Uh, thank you so much to Mate in China. The problem is like Jose. I don't know if Jose is going to try to beat me or if I... Okay, you know what? Let's just play chess. This is dangerous, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um, Play here. Let's play e6, why not? Plays bishop e3, which is interesting. Um play knight f6. I can play rook d8 here, maybe. I don't know. I'm just gonna play bishop e7, keep it very, very flat and simple. Castles. If d5, I can trade and go knight b4 even. There's a3. Interesting choice. Um, I guess I'll go queen c8 and rook d8 anyway. Probably going to play like queen c2 or something. If d5, rook d8 is still very strong, I think. It does it. Okay, let's go here. I have a penny pin pen on the queen. He goes queen b3. Now I can take. I can play knight a5 tricky my assumption is that i should just take and play knight e5 just feels like the right approach and then maybe i go c5 I mean, I'm, gi I'm giving him the two bishops which is not really ideal um i'm just gonna play c5 it's a weird move but it might make some sense I can always trade and go bishop d6 maybe i should trade on bishop d6 and a6 but and it is what it is it is what it is as the saying goes it is what it is um so let's see what he does here he takes which is interesting um not a huge fan of that move actually because I think I can just take with the queen yeah I'm actually I'm really not a fan I think he thought that I blundered the pawn but now I can always just go b6 and just consolidate and hard to believe that I should actually be worse here like much worse I, sh I mean I'm not like better or anything but I also should just be fine he trades yeah it's just gonna go rook d1 and trade he is just trade but I can go knight d4 maybe I feel like I'm trying to create something here a little bit but I feel like I might have just a very very light pull in this end game potentially maybe pretty unlikely but I feel like there might be a little pull for me in this position play knight d4 if I want to I can also go like bishop d6 or something I'm gonna go here the good thing is I should not be worse that's the most important thing I, I as long as I just take the risk out of the board or out of the position then it should be okay 
I mean, 94 is a big threat here as is 95. I mean, these knights are pretty solid. Okay, I'm going to go here, create the wooden shield. Of course, you no know, ice skater. So I have a wooden shield. I can plop the pony on D4. Starting to like my position. Actually, I think I might win this game now. I'm starting to really like my position. I assume I go knight D4. If I don't play knight D4, I don't know what I'm playing for. I need the great pony. Back to that. I guess I'll go. Eh. I'll go to F5, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to F5 to trade. I could have also taken and just made a draw, but I, I kind of want to play for more here. I'll pre move this because it's a good, safe pre move. He finds 94, which is a great move. Um, hoping he wouldn't find it, but he did, unfortunately. I'm trying to get really tricky. Um, the take. Oh no, did I just blunder? I just blundered. Oh, we missed it. Queen either was winning. Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh my gosh, that was so bad. Oh man, I almost had a heart attack there. Queen D3 was game over because of the ice skater. Thank the Lord. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, but now we just gotta reroute. Okay, let's reset. Let's go knight c7. Stop any ice skaters here. Okay. Um Okay. Don't wanna trade. Go here. Oh man, that was so scary. <laughs> I 96, no, 96, 96. Oh, 96, 95, I have queen b1. That was a mistake by me as well. And now I have no way, eh. I'm gonna try to keep the game going, cause I'm up a minute. Oh wait, that I just hung a pawn, what the heck? I just hung h5, what the heck? Okay, I'm getting really careless suddenly. Oh, what's the, oh my God, what the heck? I just spazzed and lost my mind. What the heck was that? Yeah, I just spazzed completely and just lost my mind. Heck was that? What the heck am I doing? Sort of cause. I was thinking of cake mix, thinking of pop pie, dude. I think was I losing here at the end? Or I am losing, right? Oh, he's supposed to go to G four and block. Okay, he missed it. Terrible. And the queen D three was winning though, right? 
Yeah, queen d3 is winning. Okay, geez. And then, yeah, I mean, here, like, I should have played knight e6 was my whole idea, and then I played h5 like a moron. Because I thought knight e6 he could take, but I just have queen b1 check because of the ice skater. And this just... Oh, wait, no, this... Oh, no. Oh, I can take and go here. Here because of the ice okay i mean very very dank stuff very dank stuff but whatever it's a draw i'm not going to complain because there were two spots when i should have lost that game thank you to knight ntn for the the two months thing. so we're still in the we're still in the running um wait there wait there's only oh no there are three guys on eight now on draken uh bortnik and rasmus yeah yeah I mean, I can't let him block with the knight. That was the thing. If he blocks the checks with the knight, I lose the game. So, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. You know, it's been that kind of a day that I'm going to play knight of 3g3. Thank you so much, Gregory Morse, for the two months. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm going to play just my regular knight of 3g3. Is he the guy who goes bishop g4? I don't remember. Uh, he just wants to play standard. Okay, I guess I'll play kings and he attack. I mean, this is a must-win situation for me. So this is a must-win situation. Like, I maybe must-win's wrong, but I'm gonna get someone really good with black. And all these guys around me are really like Minlay plays London, very hard to beat him. Like, I'm pretty confident I can draw, but I don't like my chances of beating him. So if I don't like my chances against these guys around here with black, then it's I I, I kind of have to win this game. So I, I don't really I don't like my chances of winning against any of those guys with uh, with black. Rasmus is taking forever here. I don't really know what the heck is going on. Is he just can no he's not disconnected also rasmus is eight so like i have to win this game because if i draw this one guy who's also higher than me okay he goes a5 this was castle he's gonna play a4 he's gonna play one of these sort of very dank all-in queen side attack lines i guess interesting so now he plays oh this is um i have this against etienne backrot in um in the uh Oh, the grand, grand, um, the grand, uh, what's it? The grand, grand, grand chess tour event in Paris in like 2017 or something. I don't even remember what the right line is here. And I got a bad position in that game, but I eventually won. So I'm going to go E5. Play here in Rook D1 and Knight E4. Yeah, Etienne played this against me. I remember it was like 2017, maybe something like that. I mean, that's a very bold move too. I feel like, okay, of course, Rook D1 has to be played. He's gonna go bishop a6. I'm gonna go to like queen e1 and then knight e4, I guess. Although I have queen e4 right away as well, maybe. He goes bishop b7, which does not look right to me, objectively. Um, but I still have to prove it. Okay, knight e4 looks strong. I don't know. This this just looks like the right move. It feel, it looks right. It feels right. It talks right. What's that? It's a duck. Talks like a duck. Quacks like a duck. It better be a duck or some 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 asinine saying like that okay let's go here and trade i guess although bishop f4 is also mm, bishop f4 is probably a better move i think that's the same right if it talks like a duck it walks like a duck it quacks like a duck it is a duck let's go here knight f4 of course and he maybe go g5 but that looks very bold because the queen d2 i can even just sack and go queen h5 and i think he's getting mated plays rook d8 which is a, a very very good move um i think i have to play knight f4 here those knight c5 which i actually don't particularly like um because i feel like i can maybe build something build like some center base of course i'm not even speaking in english at the moment maybe i go g4 g5 he wants to trade and play like uh something trade he wants 97 i don't really want to trade the rooks Knight h5 does look just looks right, putting pressure on the pawn. So I'll trade. I mean, his knight is very much offside. His his knight on c5 is well placed, but it's offside relative to the attack on the king side. A little bit offside. This, that's why I thought knight f8 maybe made more sense somewhere. I mean, maybe he never had knight f8, did he? Yeah, like, I thought knight f8 here to trade and go queen e8, rook d8 made more sense. Because now he ends up with this knight that's just, like, it's well-placed, but it's very far away from the action on the king's side. Wow, he does it, okay. Oh, I had rook g8. Wait, what? Okay, I go here. I mean, I have to. Wow, this doesn't look right at all, but he can still go back to d7. 
Doesn't have a rook move. I can play a three, maybe. I'd have 16 G7. Okay, there's gotta be something here that I'm missing. Or knight d7 looks wrong. I do this. I'm gonna check in rook c4, maybe. I have h4, h5 to him. This is kind of scary for black. <sighs> oh, do I have a mate idea with queen e3? I might have a mate idea. Hey, queen e3. I feel like there's something here, but it's very hard to prove. So G5, F4 takes, takes. Don't have time. I kind of have to go Queen E3, Knight 7 takes, takes, check, King G5, F4, King. Oh, there's no mate. H4, H5 seems right. If it's wrong, it's wrong, so be it. Getting low on time, which is also a slight problem here. Knight seven h5 is my idea. I mean, because he has to also prove it too. This is the problem. Both sides are in a lot of very tough position to play. Queen c5 looks wrong. Of course I take. Oh, did I just blunder? Shoot. Oh, wait, no, I, wait. No, I, wait, I take and I check. No, no, I didn't blunder, I'm still winning. Okay, I'm still winning, wait. So I take and I check, yeah, okay. Shake it off, shake it off, as Taylor would say. Okay, so I take. Take, and now I have knight of four and 96. Or knight of six, wait. Okay, don't, don't wonder. I'm thinking too long. Oh, I just have king f3 and king e3. I'm such an idiot. Such an idiot. I just, oh, okay. Oh, oh I gotta move, I gotta move. Wait, what am I doing? There we go, and I win. Tough game. Oh man, what a game. There we go, we got the win. Very, very tough game. Thanks so much to why so shy for the 23 TX sandwich. Um, I spent way too much time playing Knight F4. That was purely uh, the fact that I've played too much real chess in, in Toronto lately. So I should have played Knight F4 in two seconds rather than using 10 seconds. Like right here, Knight F4, is, I should have just played it right away. But for some reason in my mind, after Knight G4, I just didn't see King F3 and King E3 forever, which was just so stupid of me. But actually, let me see. Did I play this correctly? Rook H... Oh, rook h4, so I guess knight d... Ah, queen d2. Wait, but knight e5? And queen f4. 
Okay, I mean, this is way too dank for, uh, this is way too dank for us humans. Queen d2 and queen f4. Ridiculous. Anyway, I get the win. I move to 8.5 out of 10. Now, I have the best tie break, uh, but on Draken has more points. So, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, crazy. Way too dank, yeah. Yeah, now I'm regretting not beating, uh, beating on Draken earlier, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Thank you so much to C Kara for the two months. Thank you so much to C Kara. On the bright side, I have the best tie break at least. So I guess I play one of the other eight and a halfs, and he plays the other one, is my guess. Yeah. If I win, I definitely win the win the event because I just have a massive tiebreaker here. But again, we'll see. Yeah, so I'm playing Min Lei. Okay, let's minimize chat. Away we go. Not sure what I'm gonna do against Min Lei. Because the problem is like a draw is not good enough. That's the problem. And he's very, very solid. So I'm probably gonna gamble. Yeah, I'm gonna gamble and play something something. I'll play a modern. I'll just gamble. I'm gonna play this one. Okay, so play d6. Go here. And bishop g4 is always a move, but I'm just gonna castle. Go here. Okay, I guess I'll go here. Consolidate. I have e5. All right, plays d5. Okay, so we're going to get an interesting King's Indian sort of position here. I'm going to play knight h5, but I think knight d7 and f5 has to be right. This is exactly what I want in this last round. Like, this is... Oh, Andraken already drew his game. So if I beat Andraken, I win title Tuesday. It's that simple. And if I draw, I guess I get second place. Of course, I'm going to play f5 here. I have to. This gives me takes and knight c5, maybe, and knight f5. Somehow this looks right. Just like, which is, I guess I'll go knight c5, and then I'm gonna go knight f5 here. Knight e, knight e4 maybe. I mean, it's not like this is anything special for me, but it also should not be bad either. So I'm just gonna try to keep the game fairly under control here. He plays bishop e3, which I expected. Close take, takes. But this is wrong already. I think Minle is starting to make some mistakes. Is already starting to get a little bit unpleasant. There's going to be some e4 trick in here too. This bishop is loose. Yeah, Minlay blunt. Minlay made a mistake. I could have also played e4 right away, maybe. But I think queen h4 is right. So if I get e4 and a5, and I get a great bash in here on c5, I think the darks where bishop is going to play. I don't know this. Well, I mean, if this isn't right, I don't, I don't want to be right. Um, because now he has structural problems too. Like I can always trade the bishop for the juicer on c3 as well. Yeah, Minlay has definitely misplayed this. It's only a question whether I can win now or whether it's going to be a draw. That's the only question here. He's in a lot of trouble already. He's going to have to probably grovel for a draw here, and it's going to we're going to see whether I actually possess some technique, unlike against Wesley, or whether I do not possess technique, like I did in the finals against Wesley. But this is a very very scary position for White to play. I mean, I'm I'm already I think significantly better here. Knight b5? What? Wait a second. That first of all, it hangs upon on b2. I, don't, I mean, this looks insane by Minlay, actually. Like, actually insane. I take knight c7, bishop a1, knight a8. Knight a8, rook f1, queen f1, bishop e5. Thinking about this, there's gotta be something here. I can feel it in my bones. Um, okay, I think bishop e5 is the right move. Okay, I take one. Got to be some way to win this. It just feels so good. But I don't actually see it, which is kind of annoying. They can play like queen g5, I guess. Maybe queen e7 first was better. I feel like I'm, I feel like I messed this up. There should, should have been something better here. Maybe I should have gone. There should be two knights e seven. Okay, one knight e eight. I feel like there should have been something better than this. I don't know. It was queen e two. I feel like queen g three is queen f two or something. I mean, again, I feel like I'm better. It's just a matter of can I convert this into something. 
don't want to play a6 i don't really want to move my queen now because now he gets b4 too which is a huge problem f2 maybe i just go bishop g3 and don't care but i also don't have all day anymore so the queen f2 B6, take six, knight a7. There's something there. Hmm. Seven. I'm going to trust my instincts. I think bishop g3 is right. I don't know why it's right, but my instinct says that there's got to be something here with the weak king. Just my instinct. And I also can't really lose the position, even if I lose the pawn. It goes knight c3. But I've already misplayed this. Yeah, I've, I've completely bungled this. I think queen f1, right? Oh, wait, no, actually, wait. Queen f1's a blunder. Wait a second. But still, he's got b4, which, of course. Over here, maybe? Again, I'm getting too low on time, which is a, a fairly serious problem. I'm still better, but it's going to be very hard to win this. Okay. I've got a move. Oh, 96 was such a stupid move, too. Yeah, I mean, now I'm going to have to make a draw. I just have to bail out and try to make a draw. Yeah, this is so stupid of me. Yeah, it goes queen d4, and I've just got nothing. I'll go here and trade. Yeah, I mean, this. I'm still going to draw the game, but... Should have been winning there, but I couldn't find it in the two minutes I had. Should have been winning somehow. Let's just go, like... There, I guess. I'm going to trade the queens, obviously. Here, I guess. Yeah, I have to make the draw here before I just throw this game away completely. Ugh. Heck did I just do? Oh my gosh. I actually just threw this, didn't I? I threw it. I threw it. I I threw it. I was drawing the whole way and I threw it. I finally found a way to lose. I mean, he found a nice tactic, but I'm so mad at myself. Like, I was winning, completely winning. I just couldn't figure it out. I mean, I was much, much... Oh, knight d3 here? I knew it was winning. I just couldn't find knight d3. Yeah, I mean, I'm not so upset about the game itself. I'm just mad that I threw the whole thing away. Ruined, ruined a great event. And Andre can get the win, of course. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's his fir first win as a GM against you. Yeah. It's upsetting because, I mean, he was completely busted out of the opening. But that's life. All right, I guess I'll play some Blitz then. Yeah. Very, very disappointing. 
I could have made the draw so many different times too, and then I then I finally didn't make the draw. Like I go knight knight um at knight e three at some point. I go knight c two and it's just a safe draw. But that's how it goes. Yeah, I mean it's very disappointing. Ah. On the bright turn, you you aren't big OTB. Yeah, I'm not really upset uh, upset about about losing the game. It's just the way that I lost it, it was just very disappointing. Because there's there's no reason to lose that. <laughs> 